with that re how do you research do you, do you kind of do you amass a whole load of stuff and then start writing or, or 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 do you kind of find out what you need to do and problem solve and and, and read as you go along how does it work yeah I, I I think I problem solve and read as I go along so I will often start with the primary text so I I don't read a huge amount of secondary criticism before I um hit the primary text I'll read the novel or poetry or whatever main usually novels with me so I'll, I'll be reading a few novels sometimes it'll be through teaching actually I'll be teaching something and think oh that's really there's something interesting in this mm. um and I what I've worked out now works well for me so if I if I get my ideas on paper so if I write down the, that germ of an idea in the best way I can I'll then think right I can't go any further unless I, I find out about this thing so it'll be you know with at the moment I don't there's no real history of where the word refs comes from and who's using it and how they're using it and I just can't find any secondary literature on this emergence of the word refs to to be used of people that people are refs so um are you know so I'll then go and try and re find you know google's great for that kind of thing but you know trying to nerf texts that talk about refs where it's emerging where it's coming from um and then I'll write a, I'll find that out that thing and that might be like you know half a page of information or might sometimes it's like a sentence isn't it you, know, you spend days finding out something and then it's like a footnote or a sentence and then think of how that changes things that be like right well I need to read this other thing now to find out how that you know I can't do any more without finding out about you know this other writer or what's going on in terms of um for the politics of the time say so then I go and investigate something else and bring that into the mix and then I'll realize that I've got a dead end somewhere else and or I'll I've forgotten what the novel's about so I've done all this other work and then I kind of have forgotten a bit about how the novelist is or the novel is dealing with it so I'll go back and read the novel and and do close reading so mm -hmm. I tend to kind of write reach a kind of limit and then go and read to fill in those gaps and and move back and forth and that that works really well for me yeah how about you yeah. uh, I tend to be the other way around actually I tend to do quite a lot of the upfront reading and kind of try to kind of get a kind of a sense of the field of, of what's been said and um the conceptual apparatus and do, and do some rooting around and then I feel in a position to 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 kind of um yeah to, to I suppose to make my own critical in intervention you know in dialogue with other people at that particular point I suppose but yeah. you get to the same end point don't you really I think kind of it's just mm -hmm. different methods yeah and I have to, you have to do that I have to do that at a certain point I have to do it before I invest too much because otherwise you you find that someone else has just written the thing that you're supposed yeah. to un unraveling but someone else has already unraveled it I think I get quite I would get quite bogged down and possibly just read lots of things and think well this is all brilliant and I have nothing else to say <laughs> so I kind of I think there has to be a period in which I block out all those other writings so that I feel like I can just follow my own you know instincts um and I, I suppose that yeah it's, you have to have a sense of that don't you at, at least when you're writing for publication I think for undergraduate essays people should be less worried about replicating what's already out there um you shouldn't be copying stuff but also you you can't you know as an undergraduate have read everything on a, no. on a novel or something and as long as it's fresh from you and, and you're noticing things and you're writing about it you know, it's always very clear to us whether you're being derivative and you've read something and you're kind of copying it or whether you're writing something and we know someone else has written about that same thing but we can tell that you've come to it under your own steam and that it's this kind of fresh exciting new idea for you yeah it's fine isn't it I think, I think also kind of um and, and I think we are very it's easy to fall prey to this as well it's the it's the one more text kind of syndrome where you kind of think oh there, there's, there's one more article I just need to read that article before I start working you know kind of because that's going to be the key yeah, yeah I must read this thing and that's never the case because you know kind of uh, there's always going to be one more than you've read so um so yeah yeah I think it's partly it's, it's, it's working within the limits that you set yourself isn't it you know and I think you know um for an undergraduate essay those limits are going to be different than writing a, an academic book on something but um yeah. working within those parameters and understanding what those parameters are the job of work that you have to do in a certain time limit in a certain word space that's that's the key I think really isn't it yeah that is.